Hi guys, welcome back to my Move Anywhere Anytime series. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I did for the first week um, to help my shoulder improve after I injured it playing volleyball. Um, so I was having, just to recap, I was having some pain after hitting and serving um, an overhand, like an increase in overhead activity with my shoulder. My shoulder just was, it's more than it's used to, so it got irritated. Um, and it was really hard to reach with it. So it's clearly my shoulder that's irritated, so I need to work on the shoulder somewhat to calm it down. But I also think that I got irritated because of, like I said, technique, that I wasn't using really great strat movement strategies. Um, so I was going to show you what I did to start working on movement strategies while I was still working on my shoulder that was irritated. So first things first, every single day, I just took a band and I kept it in my kitchen so that I could get these exercises in. Um, again, move anywhere, anytime. So anytime I had a break, I just grabbed the band and did the exercises. So I started with some isometrics, which tend to get a bad rap, I think, of being really easy. Um, and I actually did them, I wanted them to be pretty heavy, okay, because there's a lot of, I don't think I necessarily have a tendon injury, but I think some of the research on tendon pain can go to any kind of pain. Um, but we know when we load a tendon or an irritated area, it can calm down, especially if we load it a little heavier. So I didn't do these light. They were pretty heavy. Um, and I held them for about 45 seconds to a minute. Um, and I was to the point where I wasn't shaking, but it was really hard. And by the end, I was happy to be done with them. So I started on day one because I was so sore. I just started with some external rotation right here at my side, okay? And I held that for about a minute and I had enough tension on the band that it was hard, okay? By day two, I wanted to progress up because that's where I was having problems. I was pretty okay through here, although this did hurt a little bit on day one. I wanted to move up, so I was about here and I worked there. So I did it a minute and I tried to get about three sets three times a day. I didn't necessarily do them all in a row. I just worked them in where I could. If I was cooking, um, when I was talking to my husband, watching TV, I just pulled them in, okay? About three days in, maybe four days, I don't remember, I went up here, okay? So this was the position I was having trouble in. So I started holding here for about a minute, and, and I, I kind of really gave a good pull there. Um, and it hurt. It's okay for this to hurt a little bit, but as soon as I stopped, it went away. That's okay. And it wasn't excruciating, so I held that for a minute. And then I went actually all the way overhead, okay, like that. Now, if you saw what I just did, how I just adjusted my posture, then you'll catch what I was working on. So I think one of the main things that was happening with volleyball is that I was standing with my weight back on my heels and trying to jump from here, and that kind of is not the most efficient strategy. Um, so what I want to do is be more here, kind of lean forward a little bit with some weight more towards my toes. So with every exercise, I made sure I was in that posture. So I kind of pretended like I was, that this is us, especially women after baby, this is how we tend to stand. But I'm a lot of men, especially men who cross their arms, tend to stand like this too. So I just got myself here for every exercise, okay? And I kind of stacked up my rib cage over my pelvis to give me a better core. And I just worked here on every position, okay? So then after maybe two days of overhead, I wanted to add in some rotation. So I worked out a rotation and mobility drill, which I'll show you in just a second. But I then either went into this position and held it, still holding it, but then I just added in with an exhale in my stacked posture, a rotation. And I did that for the minute, so 45 seconds. And then I did the same thing up here. So I'm getting isometric on the shoulder, but I'm getting rotation through the upper back. So just like that. Um, so those were kind of my calm downs for my shoulder. Um, and I'm still doing those um, just to kind of keep it up, to kind of keep some strength in that shoulder. But this week I'm gonna to progress to more movement based. I'll use a metronome and start actually moving through motion. And I'm gonna use the metronome to pace me because I know we do better when we actually pace. So that's gonna be where I progress at. I'm gonna move away from the isometrics a little bit and move to more true strengthening. Um, but then I'm gonna show you what I did for my core exercises. Again, I use that core word. Let's forget that word I used to help my movement. Um, so the first thing I notice is we kind of look at a group of muscles um, that work together, like in our obliques and our abs and our adductors here, we call it the anterior oblique sling of muscles. And if you look, it's kind of this motion, which is exactly what I was doing with hitting that probably was weak and probably happened to me, kind of I probably lost a lot of strength in it 
after I had kids and it was just something I never really worked on. So I thought maybe I should work on that today. And so when I tested it out, my right side was significantly, this pattern was significantly harder for me than this pattern, which would show me that there was an indicator of an issue. So what I did, and I had to modify my setup a little bit to get the video in, is I wanted to make sure I get my adductors going. That's the muscle on the inner part of your thigh. And so I squeeze a yoga block, but you could use a, a pillow or a towel or anything like that. Um, and I just grab my band and I would be further away, but because of the setup, I have to be a little closer so you can see the video. So I'm just wrapping up the band to give me the right amount of resistance. And I'm just going to get my good breath in, blow out and pull up to the other side, okay? I would be a little more on an angle and pulling this way. Um, and then just so you can see if I was coming from this side, you can see how much easier it is for me to pull up. So I'm struggling a little bit on that side. So that makes a lot of sense that I would have a hard time hitting on that side. So I'm, I worked on that all week and it's getting significantly better just trying to pull up to the side, okay? Um, and then what else I did is I wanted to work Remember I said I was having a little trouble pushing off with running too. So I think that my jumping abilities might might have helped uh, contribute a little bit to the shoulder pain. So I'm going to keep my core together, keep those adductors going, and just give myself resistance with the arms as I do a bridge. So I'm going to breathe in, blow out, and push up, keeping that squeeze. Now some people might need to push out on a band, but I feel like my weakness was in my adductors, so I'm going to push in. And I'm kind of pushing through my heels, but I still have some pressure through my toes. This is giving me some pressure to keep my uh, abs engaged, but I'm breathing through it. And I would hold that. I held that for about a minute and then back down. And then I wanted to work the serratus muscle, which is the muscle um, kind of right here. And that's real important for our shoulder blade. So... Um, I just wanted to give it a little resistance too to kind of get my pec to chill out a little bit because that's probably where I was tight and sore. So I'm just going to hold the band so I have some resistance. Okay, and then I held this weight. And again, you could do this just with a band. You don't even necessarily need to use weight. And I blew out, pushed up, and then slowly back down. And what I'm doing here is actually feeling my shoulder blade roll around, shoulder blade, come back, shoulder blade roll around, shoulder blade, come back. When you come back, you can kind of think about squeezing an orange in your armpit and then letting it go and reaching. I kind of reach with the pinky to really get that and come back. And there's a good bit of tension on this band just to give me some, that'll help kind of get the pec to, to not interfere as much with this exercise. So that's kind of what I did for my shoulder and core on the floor. Oh, I said core again. Um, but some other things I mentioned was like rotation. So I figured I was probably a little tight in thoracic rotation. So I just, I've shown this one before and I was just kind of rotating um, up like this here, just to kind of get my upper back moving. And I just did that as part of my warm up maybe 10 to 20 times. And then I worked on my ankles a little bit, which I've shown in several videos. Um, I think a big part for me, and this is true for a lot of people, drives from the fact that I broke my ankles and didn't really take good care of them because I was 20 and stupid. And now I have some significant mobility issues and that, that affects how I'm able to move. So I really think that working on ankles can be really important and the foot is very important. So I wanted to work on, after I loosened up my ankle, I just wanted to work on getting myself able to stay more in this position and keeping my core kind of in that good posture there. So what I did is just came back a little bit from the wall, put my hands up, and I had myself nice and stacked up, rib cage over pelvis, breathe in, blow out, slowly control myself to the wall until I can't and just catch myself. And I just, I'm working on getting myself to move as much as I can without my heels coming up. Okay. In. And what I don't want is this. So it's just an easy way for me to get used to using, and I can come back further to make it harder and keeping my core. I think I lost it a little bit on that one here. Okay. Now, and then from this position, you can work on lots of running specific or jumping specific exercises like pushing off 
like really getting a push off here. You can work on some jumping um, and you can progress it down a little lower. Um, and I also did some static regular planks and side planks, but I wanted to do these as well just to get that ankle moving a little bit. So you can see, it seems like I did a lot, but truthfully, I probably spent 10 to 15 minutes each day doing these exercises. And then I just threw the isometrics in my day where I could. So I didn't do every exercise every day. I did maybe two to three exercises every day. So it wasn't like, you know, I wasn't feeling like I'm just spending my whole day exercising. I just worked it into my day. And then the, the isometrics, I did do a lot, but I just did them here and there. It wasn't like every set. So that's one way to take what feels like an overwhelming physical therapy program when you have an injury and kind of just work it into your day to get over it quick. And I can tell you right now, I'm having no pain in my shoulder, feels pretty good. So next week I'm gonna work a few weeks of like specific strengthening and then I'm gonna go into a little higher plyometric. So next week I might work with some chopping motions in this position, a little more pulling, some upper back stuff, um, all of that just to kind of get my capacity up so that when I go to hit that ball, my shoulder's not mad. Um, and then I'm gonna work on a little bit of plyometrics at the end, maybe some throwing to kind of help my shoulder be able to really handle the load of hitting a volleyball. So that's kind of a quick nutshell of the first week and a little intro into what I would do down the line. Um, and pretty much any injury can be handled in this way, starting with some ice calm down, looking at the whole body, the kinetic chain we call it, and then progressing to um, progressing the strengthening and then ending, if appropriate for the sport, the age, and the person with some higher level activities like a plyometric type activity to be able to tolerate the load of their sport. So um, I just threw a lot at you there. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, give me a shout if you have any questions. Hope you have a great day.